Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to compare decimal numbers. And at the end of this lesson, you should be able to compare and arrange decimal numbers. How are we going to compare decimals? To compare decimals, there are some simple steps that we need to consider. First, line up the numbers according to the place value. Second, compare the digits in each place starting from the leftmost. And third, use the symbols to show the relationship between the two numbers. So these symbols are the greater than, the less than, and the equal to. Let's take this sample problem. Theo is keeping track of the distances at a long jump competition. The jumper from West High jumped 7 and 857,000 meters, while the jumper from the East High jumped 7 and 849,000 meters. Which school had a longer jump? How are we going to answer this problem? So to answer this problem, we will apply the three basic steps. First, we are going to line up the numbers according to the place value. So we will write 7 and 857,000 on top and 7 and 849,000 below. Make sure to align the decimal points so that all the digits or all the place value will also be aligned correctly. Next step, compare the digits in each place starting from the leftmost. So here are our given once again, and we are going to start uh, comparing from the leftmost uh, place value. Since the left uh, place value is always greater than the place value to its right. So in here, the leftmost place value is the ones place. And we can see that, that the digit in the ones place are both 7. Since they are equal, so we are going to move to the next place value to the right. And that's the tenth place. Again, we can see that the digits here are the same or equal. That's 8 and 8. And if that is so, we will move once again to the right or to the hundredths place. And we can see here that the digits are different. And also, we can say that 5 is greater than 4. If that's the case, then we will stop comparing here. We, we don't need to compare 7 and 9 anymore. Since 5 is greater than 4, so it follows that 7 and 857,000 is greater than 7 and 849,000. Now we can proceed to our last step. That is, use the symbols to show the relationship between the two numbers. So our numbers again are 7 and 857,000 and the other one is 7 and 849,000. Since 7 and 857,000 is greater than 7 and 849,000, so we are going to use this symbol the greater than okay so if you are confused when to use greater than or less than so let's take note of its part take note that in this symbol there is a big open side and a small pointy side remember that the big open side always face the bigger number and the small pointy side faces the smaller number 
that's why we use the greater than symbol since 7 and 857 thousands is greater than 7 and 849 thousands and if we are going to look back to our problem which school had a longer jump since we identified already that 7 and 857 meters is greater than 7 and 849 meters therefore we can say that the jumper from the west high had a longer jump next is how are we going to arrange the decimal numbers so we can arrange decimal numbers in different ways it can be in ascending or in descending order ascending is another term for least to greatest order while descending is the other term for the greatest to the least order and we need three or more decimal numbers so that we can arrange them from the least to the greatest or greatest to the least order let's take this sample problem once again Skyla has three pieces of ribbons measuring 1 and 2500 centimeters, 2 and 3500 centimeters, and 2 and 1500 centimeters. Arrange the lengths of the ribbons from the shortest to the longest. So how are we going to answer this problem? To answer this problem, we will apply the same steps when we compare decimal numbers. First, we are going to line up the numbers according to the place value. So we will write 1 and 2500, 2 and 3500, and 2 and 1500. Again, make sure to align all the decimal points so that all the digits in their place value are correctly aligned second step compare the digits in each place starting from the leftmost so here are our even numbers 1 and 2500 2 and 3500 and 2 and 1500 and the leftmost place value here is ones, the ones place. So in here we can see that one is the smallest uh, not digit. So therefore it follows that one and twenty-five centimeters is the shortest length among the three ribbons. Now we are going to compare the remaining numbers. That's two and thirty-five hundreds and two and fifteen hundreds. Since we are done with the ones place, so we will move to the next place value to the right, and that's the tenths place. So here we can see that 3 is greater than 1. So it follows that 2 and 3500 centimeters is the longest length of the ribbon among the three ribbons. Now, if we are going to arrange these lengths from the shortest to the longest, this will be our answer. Shortest length is 1 and 25 centimeters ribbon. Second longer is the 2 and 15 centimeters ribbon. And the longest ribbon has the length of 2 and 35 centimeters. Now let's try to answer this performing activity. A. Compare the following decimals, write greater than, less than, or equal on the space provided. So here are our given. I'll give you 15 seconds to write your answer on the blank and if you need a longer time, you may pause this video.
Okay, time's up. Now, let's check if your answers are correct. So, for number one, our numbers here are 6 and 578 thousands and 6 and 785 thousands. And the uh, uh, place value to the left most is the ones place. So, we will start comparing from the ones place. So, here... We can see that the digits in the ones place are both 6 or they are equal. So if that is so, then we will move to the next place value to the right and that's the tens place. So here in the tens place, we can see that the digits are 5 and in here, that's 7. So we can say that 7 is greater than 5. Therefore, it follows that 6 and 578 thousands is lesser than 6 and 785 thousands. So, we are going to use the symbol less than. So, the opening part here will face 6 and 785 because that's the greater part. And the pointed part here will face 6 and 578 thousands since it is the smaller part or smaller number. For number 2, our given are 87 and 39 hundredths and the other one is 87 and 390 thousands. So our left most place value here is the tens place. So we will, so we will start comparing from the tens place. And we can see that in the tens place, our digits are both 8 or they are, they are equal. So we will move to the next place value and that's the ones place. So in here, we can see again that in the ones place, our digits are both 7 or they are equal. If that is so, we need to move to the next place value to the right and that's the tens place. So here, we can see that in the tens place, our digits are both 3 or they are equal. So we need again to move to the right or to the next place value and that's the hundreds. So in the hundreds, we can see that the, that the digits are both 9 or they are equal. If that is so, then we will move again to the next place value to the right and that's the thousands place. So in here, there's no given digit, while in this number, we, can, we have 0 as the digit that occupies the thousands place. So 0 and nothing are just the same. Therefore, we can say that 87 and 39 hundreds is just the same or equal to 87 and 390 thousands. So, we will use the symbol equal to or equal. So, for number 3, our given are 15 and 56 hundreds and the other one is 15 and 45 hundreds. So, in here, our leftmost place value is the tens place. So, we will start comparing from the tens place and we can see that in the tens place, our digits are both 1. Or equal to 1 so since they are equal so we will move to the next place value to the right and that's the ones place so in here we can see that the digit in the ones place are both 5 or equal if that is so then we will move to the next place value to the right and that's the tenths place so in here, we can see that the digit in the tens place is 5, while in this number, the digit in the tens place is 4. So since 5, since 5 is greater than 4, therefore we can say that 15 and 56 hundreds is greater than 15 and 45 hundreds. So notice that the opening here will face the bigger number and the, the pointed part here will face the smaller number.
For set B, arrange the following decimals in ascending order, or from the least going to the greatest. So the numbers are as follows, 2 and 134,000, 2 and 34,000, 2 and 503,000, 2 and 116,000, and 2 and 236,000. So I'll give you 15 seconds to arrange these numbers, and if you need a longer time, you may pause this video. All right, time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. So if you are going to arrange these numbers from the least to the greatest, this will be our sequence. The smallest number here is 2 and 34 thousands. Next is 2 and 116 thousands. Next, 2 and 134 thousands. Fourth is 2 and 236 thousands. And the greatest number is 2 and 503 thousands. For set C, arrange the following decimals in descending order. So the numbers are 4 and 431,000, 4 and 34,000, 4 and 576,000, 4 and 239,000, and 4 and 54,000. So again, I'll give you 15 seconds to arrange these numbers in descending or from the greatest to the least order and if you need a longer time you may pause this video Alright, time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. So if we are going to arrange these numbers in descending order, this will be our sequence. So the greatest number is 4 and 576,000, followed by 4 and 431,000. Third is 4 and 239,000. Fourth is 4 and 54,000 and the last or the least decimal number is 4 and 34,000 and that's it I hope you've learned something for today thank you so much for watching and see you on our next video lesson